Say goodbye to Bert's Adventures. You're on camera. You, Have a good weekend, guys. Woo! <laughs> there you go. The Redding Crew, Shillington Crew. There you go. <laughs> guys, stay upright. All right. And so it begins. Pine Creek, Pine Creek Gorge, 2022, third annual Burt Fest for Burt Day. This year a little different. One, we're here in April and it's cold, it's chilly. You can see I'm a little bundled up. Also, this is first paddle in my new hard shell kayak. So I'm out here with my boy Seth. Let's turn you around. Seth, say hi to the crowd. Guess we can't see Seth. So, uh, yes, yeah, so we're out here. We're gonna see how things go. A little different this year. We put in the big meadows instead of Pine Creek Outfitter. Left my car there, and Pine Creek is gonna come get my truck, and uh, they're gonna deliver it down to Rattlesnake Rock. Our plan is to go from Big Meadows to Rattlesnake, total of about 18 or 19 miles, and um, we'll camp today and then finish it up, finish it up tomorrow sometime. So that's the plan, we'll take it from there. So here's the new boats. Seth and I uh, purchased the same boat. So we got a two for one deal, not a two for one deal, but we saved a little money by buying them as a pair off of someone. They're used but new to us, and uh, we're looking forward to it. It's my first time in a hard shell kayak. All right, folks, here's our first moving water. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous first time doing this in a, in a, in a hard shell. a lot of waterfowl here this time of year. It's the first time I paddled the, the late the creek in um, April. Definitely more birds and nesting going on. Yeah, so we're stopped right now. Little equipment challenge. Seth had a pull over and adjusted bulkhead. I don't know if you can see him back there. He had to just his bulkhead give himself a little more uh, a little more leg room inside his cabin. Or his cockpit, whatever you call it, these things. So uh, one thing I'll say is, you know, this is my third trip down. I think the first year I did it at about two and a half feet. Last year it was only one and a quarter. It was really it was too low to paddle and it just wasn't it just wasn't any fun. And now today it's at 375. So it's the highest I've ever done it. Um, so the water's definitely moving faster than I've seen it here, which is cool. Um, I will say that, you know, I'm loaded up here. Um, I have my tent and my cooking stuff in the front bulkhead, um, which is not dry. It's just, you know, it's just, it's just up there, tucked into the nose. And then I have all my sleeping stuff and my food and all that fun stuff is in the little hatch in the back. There's definitely more weight in the rear than there is in the front. And, uh, I don't have much more room to put any extra weight up front, but um, I can definitely feel it that the, the kayak is is stern heavy, it's ass heavy here, and uh, wanting to spin a little bit, so I got to stay, stay on top of it with the paddles to keep myself going in the direction I want to go. So hopefully that won't be any issues when we hit actual rapids. We'll see. Who knows?
turning back. I thought I lost. I thought Seth stopped here. He just went down the other side of the island. Huh. Sneaky little devil. Tricky little spot through here. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be hairy. Said Mother Nature made that tree the perfect height. Here's about a 12 inch window to go through there. I don't know what this section is called. But this is one of my favorite parts of the canyon, this bend here. Where if you look up, see how vertical that is? A nice little water. And it's like a sheer stone wall right here on, the, on your uh, left. On your right, excuse me. Going straight up. A little waterfall coming down there. Oh, look, how pretty is that? Well, 
folks. This is turning into a bit of a drama. I'm trying to find a place to camp. We've stopped at two locations that didn't meet our expectations. So now we're gonna continue on and uh, see what happens. Let's see if we can find something else. Here's hope. We're getting close. All righty, folks. We have made it to camp on night one. Had a busy day. Uh, we did 15 miles on Pine Creek from Ansonia to we are, I think about a mile and a half before Blackwell. We're right at the last island in the creek before you get to Blackwell. Um, I've camped at this site before. This is a great little, great little location here. Um, we're here by ourselves. So Seth went for a hike. He's somewhere up the hill. I have no idea where, but um, we're set. So I've got my, got my gear set. Still some stuff strewn around. Got, got our fire pit is here. Seth's got his tent set up. You can see we're Creekside. Got the boats out of the water and they're just uh, chilling out for the night. So um, yeah, right now, Right now we're just kind of taking it easy, and uh, well, I am. Seth's out walking up a freaking thousand foot cliff, but um, yeah, we're just gonna hang out here for a little while, cook some dinner, and uh, and see what happens tonight. We'll talk to you soon. Yeah, so Seth, that's a that's a hell of a little pyre you got going on there. When are you gonna light the thing? <laughs> I mean, well, at some point you gotta take a match to it. I'm gonna light it and run away. I sit down. I don't feel like I gotta watch my language, right? This is going all over the world on your YouTube channel. You know what I, I have the power of editing. <laughs> It'll be awesome. Goodbye, Ruby Tuesday. Who could hang a name on you? Put boys in the woods, and what are they gonna do? Play with fire. Seth is the fireman. Well, that thing's giving off heat already, dude. Yeah, we'll be good for the night. Get cold, I might have to move my tent a little closer, because, you know, I'm the <laughs> fireman, but I'm definitely not the packer. No, no, you are. Uh... This, this is what I wore. <laughs> yeah, so. You have a parka. So the rules of paddling are basically, don't wear, don't wear cotton. Don't wear <laughs> denim. My man's doing both. <laughs> Yeah, meanwhile, I'm here in my nice little merino wool long johns. Gonna put on a nice fleece tonight. Seth's gonna sit by closer to the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Loving it. And uh, yeah, this is us for the rest of the night. Music, music and fire. Music, it's fire all good. Food. That's it. It's gonna be a good night. Yes, it will, no doubt. It is birthday. April 23rd, 2022. And I'm sitting here laying in the tent. It was, uh, it's a little chilly. But, um, we're cool. We got some visitors last night. Um, a group right before, uh, sunset showed up. About five or six guys. So they're at the other end of this little camping area where we are. And, uh, Apparently they're the welcoming party for a bigger group today. Um, so they were they were pretty happy when we said that we didn't mind if they stayed here. Um, but they had fun. They were drinking and smoking and listening to music and cooking and everything was, they were having a good time. Um, and I think they have about 15 more guys coming today. So they're gonna be a big group here. So it's chilly, it went down to about 40 last night, maybe the upper 30s. And uh, I'm in no rush to get out of my warm sleeping bag, but I guess we have to. It's just seven o'clock, and the wake up party just went just went up the river. A little flock of geese just flew up the river, making a bunch of noise. So that was the wake up call. And uh, yes, yeah, so I guess now we'll start getting out of this thing and start getting our crap together and load up the boats and be gone. We did 15 miles yesterday, which means we only have about three and a half, four miles left today. So I'm going to be on the water for about an hour or so. 
then get down to Rattlesnake Rock and uh, should be home in time for, uh, for dinner sometime today. All right, catch up with you guys when we're on the water. See ya. There you go. <laughs> it wasn't super graceful, but you did it. All right, folks, we are on the water. And it is Bert Day, officially. So, I know some of you have seen some of my videos and know this, but today, April 23rd, is three days sober. Proud of myself. So, uh, I now call it birthday. So I have my birthday in September, and then I have birthday, which is the day that I decided to uh, get my shit together and uh, be, try to be a better man and a better person. So, uh, yeah, so there's that. So we don't have too far to go today. Um, we only have about, uh, about four miles, I think, less than that probably. So maybe an hour on the water. And, um, and we'll be done. We'll be down at Rattlesnake Rock. So looking forward to it. We had a great little campsite last night. Enjoyed ourselves. And uh, now we're going to finish this thing up and, and head home. It's about 9 a.m. on Saturday. We'll check in soon. Blackwell. Got the Blackwell Bridge. I guess I've already shown a bunch of the houses, but there's a there's a launch point here. Nice place to stop if you gotta pee because there's bathrooms. But there's a general store, old country store right there, and there's a church and a few houses. As far as I can tell, that's the extent of Blackwell. According to Seth, they built the railway here, he read, they shipped in a bunch of Italians. And a crew of Italians built the railway down that went down Pine Creek from, I think, above Ansonia all the way down to um, Jersey City, or Jersey Shore, and Williamsport. Went through Wellsboro, way of getting all the lumber. Out to the world. This area here is called the Narrows. And here's a prime example of high water totally changing this run. At lower water, there's another eagle. At lower water, this is a really fun section with one or two of the best quick hit rapids on the whole creek. And with the high water today, it's just little just little ripples. And that's Rattlesnake Rock.
Last little run here. Our parking area, I think, is just a couple hundred yards up. One last little splash of cold water. Wake you up on Saturday morning. Well, folks, that's a wrap on Pine Creek 22. Well, Seth, that's a wrap. <laughs> so here I am up on the road. The creek is down there, Rattlesnake Rock. And, uh, my biggest fear about using a shuttle service is that your, your truck ain't there when you, when you get to where you need to be. And um, sure enough, our truck ain't here. So now we are literally out at the road trying to hitch a ride back and find out if it's just a screw up by the outfitter, a miscommunication. I don't know. We'll find out. But uh, fingers crossed we don't have to wait on this little country road too long for... Um, for a ride and then Seth will just hang out here it's gonna be about a 30 minute drive up I'm gonna have to go to the outfitter and get my money back and then a 30 minute drive back to uh to come so Seth's gonna be able to meditate he'll be able to do some yoga he'll be able to hang out take a nap by the boats whatever but we'll see just a little little change in plans folks so we'll see how this plays out but look at me I'm still happy I'm smiling we're having fun I'll tell you what, people can be awesome. First of all, I called the outfitter and uh, they're scrambling. They're trying to figure out where my car is. And uh, I got to call them back in five minutes. There's no cell signal here because we're in the middle of nowhere, but there is an emergency call box that will dial local numbers. So that worked out well. So I was able to call them, talk to them. Dude had my um, reservation. He said, we picked up all the cars yesterday. I'm hoping. So while I'm standing here waiting, we get to talking to um, these guys, these fishermen that were here. And uh, turns out they're from like our neighborhood, for like five miles from where I live. And not five, five, 10 miles, like 15 minutes. And uh, really good guys. Gave me a bottle of water, offered us a ride. And um, like I said, people were, people were cool. So we're still trying to, excuse me, still trying to figure out the car situation, but um, it sounds like we're, we're on the path. We just got to, find it at this point. <laughs> All right, we'll check in. Woohoo! Good news, it's on its way. Just talked to them, they found it. Just slipped through the cracks yesterday. Accidents happen. And uh, now we just got to just sit around and wait about 45 minutes for it to get here. But good news. Hi. Here we are on our way home. What did we stumble across? A chainsaw carving showcase. Check this out. All kinds of stuff. And Seth, Seth had to stop. <laughs> so, we parked in an illegal spot and got yelled at. Told the guy we'd only be here 15 minutes, so hopefully we'll uh, get away with it.